I'm Julia, a student at Pitzer College. I never had a sister, but my best friend, Mandeep, is like a sister to me. The summer after our freshman year of high school, Mandeep shared a secret with me. She told me she is an undocumented immigrant. I think what you said to me was, so you know those people who just come over the border and aren't supposed to be here? Well, I'm like that. I wanted to help you from the very start. <laughs> she was all over it from the beginning. I, she started researching. When I found out that my best friend was an undocumented immigrant, I realized that this is an issue that affects people in all of our lives. I also realized that American citizens who help undocumented immigrants, citizens like me, are everywhere too. Like Paul Bridges, the Republican mayor of Uvalde, Georgia, population 600. It's a small agricultural community, and in fact, one guy who came down to see us the other day said, my neighborhood has more people in it than your town. And I said, yeah, but can you name the last name of your neighbor next door? Much of the farming in the Uvalda community is done by undocumented immigrants. Oh, we have lots of things on the farm. Uh, squash, cucumbers, peppers, whatever kind of produce that goes to the market, we grow it. The agricultural industry is the machine, the economic machine that, that runs Georgia. Another American citizen helping undocumented immigrants is Jeff Hawkins, a Silicon Valley businessman. He created the Palm Pilot, the Palm Trio, and recently founded a brain research company. I've lived in Northern California for 25 years, and during that time, I've seen a huge influx of an immigrant population from all around the world, and I think it's great. It really is a wonderful thing, and it's made Silicon Valley uh, part of the success it is. A few years ago, Jeff's daughter found out that her best friend was undocumented. Well, it's tough for her right now. She can't legally work, so she's volunteering and we're supporting with gifts, but she's in a real pickle. Like my best friend, Mandeep. After graduating with honors from Los Altos High School, Mandeep got into college and began studying to be a doctor. But after her sophomore year, U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement told Mandeep she had to leave. I had to do something, anything and everything, to keep her home. First, we talked to an immigration group in Washington who started a petition to stop the deportation. I also wrote a letter to everyone in our community, all of our mutual friends. Thousands of people decided to help. Her deportation was put on hold, and my best friend was allowed to stay. But only temporarily. Now her life is in limbo. And as her best friend, my life is impacted too. Mandeep, the one voted most likely to save the world, defines American, and I stand by her side. Like countless other American citizens, I'm proud to call myself a part of the 21st century underground railroad of supporters who are standing up for what is morally right. What would you do if you found out your best friend was an undocumented immigrant? Tell us your story and see others at defineamerican.com.